Now let's go ahead and look closer on the interface. Overall, you notice on the top we have a standard drop down menus. And by the clicking, you will expand the menu. You can access almost every property in applications. Some of them also can be accessed by hotkey, for example, F5 for the load atmosphere. Below this, you'll notice we have a toolbar. We actually have a couple toolbars, one on the top with the exactly same function that you can access from drop down menu, the only um, fast available. And this is most used actions. You can also some modify, but overall, you notice right here down on the bottom. And I'll show you how you can modify a little bit later. And on the left, you'll notice we have it more as objects or um, left side toolbar, which we can access plane, um, water, atmosphere, primitives, text, terrains, and all other objects. So this is our toolbars. We have a 3D view on the middle. Currently, it's paying with four views, top, front, side view, and main camera view. We can also modify and change them. We have an additional property on the right side where we have an object property. For example, let's create one. You'll notice right here we have an object property, sizes, positions, animations, and also material preview. We have a main camera or camera preview options. We also have it right here. You can see object browser, material browser, and some also linking textures and. Overall, this is will say object or scenery browser. Okay, and you notice when we created object now, we have it appear in all four views. The active view is highlighted. This is by default color highlighted in blue. You can must modify all of these properties and we'll go later in our tutorial, see how you can more customize. As well as we look on all interfaces, you notice we have it double dotted right here areas. And this means you can go ahead, click and readjust or reposition them or drag and place where you think they will more um, suitable for you. So kind of adjusting. This way you can modify interface, this new dockable interface and adjust to the um, way you like it. Don't worry if you mess around, you can always go back and load it. And we'll look at the next tutorials kind of how we can preload it, customize your um, work area. Overall, for the if you're just beginning with a view or not familiar, I do recommend for you to keep it as default. So you can place the back. Um, the reason why, because we will reference in tutorial to our generic, not yet modified view. So when I will, for example, say, access from menu on the top and you do modify it, it will be harder for you to find. When you feel more familiar with interface, you can customize um, for your likeness. So in our interface, you notice we can modify now. We can also scale and change. And normally when you move mouse, you'll notice right here it's change. So we can reshape it, modify it. If we double time click or alt click or or you click on icon increase so we can um, take full view, side view. So you have a lot of options you can access. So you can see we have a lot of customization. As well, this window you can undock and place it in another place. For example, we'll go take away and I'm putting right here, for example, on my other screen. So if you have a monitor, you can kind of nicely place it around. And this does help a lot. Okay, the options also you can lock from docking and docking. This is help if you don't want to just accidentally drag around your scenery. Also speaking about readjusting, the one thing kind of know this window on the side with preview, you also can increase, decrease. And if you're making too wide, some it will change in some cases and will reposition slightly on the side. So you have a lot of lot of customization you can do it. Overall for now. Let's go ahead and look more closer on the our components on a menu, what we have it from drop down and get a little bit more familiar with this.